The modern workplace happens anywhere where people can be connected and productive using circuits. We are learning to work from home now more than ever. Whether you're video conferencing, creating documents, collaborating using Microsoft Teams, having a large screen makes your experience better while using a Surface or a laptop. Hi, my name is Kenneth Perry. I'm your technology expert. And today I'm going to show you four ways you can connect to your TV or monitor using a Surface. First, you want to ensure that you have an HDMI cord. Yes, an HDMI cord. You know what that looks like, right? And if you have the latest Surface, maybe you have USB-C adapter. You can get that at your local Best Buy store or Microsoft store. And if you have a Surface Pro 3 through Surface Pro 6, then maybe you need that mini display port adapter. Hmm. Well, whichever Surface you have, you want to ensure that you have the right tools needed in order for you to accomplish your goal, which is to create that ultimate home workstation connecting to your TV and monitor. Hit that button. We are now ready to connect your Surface to a TV or monitor. But first, you want to make sure your TV or monitor has an HDMI port. If so, insert it into the port now. The Surface Book 2 has a USB-C port located on the right side of the keyboard next to the Surface Connect port right here. Next, locate your USB-C adapter and HDMI cord. Insert the HDMI cord into the HDMI port on the USB-C adapter. Then insert the USB-C adapter into the Surface USB-C port shown here. Now you can locate the source button on the TV remote and select the correct HDMI port to connect your TV to the Surface. And there you have it, it's connected. All the latest Surface family devices have USB-C ports. If you have an older Surface Pro, laptop, or Surface Book, then you will need a mini display port to HDMI adapter to insert into the Surface mini display port on the right side of the Surface. Now, locate the mini display port adapter and the HDMI cord. Insert the HDMI cord into the HDMI port on the adapter. Then insert the adapter into the mini display port on the right side of the Surface Pro as shown here. Once connected, then your Surface desktop will appear on your TV or monitor. Next, I'm going to show you how to connect your Surface dock to your Surface. If you have multiple monitors, then you will need two mini display port to HDMI adapters to connect to the docking station. Before we begin, ensure your HDMI port is inserted into your monitor. Locate the opposite end of this HDMI and insert it into the HDMI port on the mini display adapter. Next, insert the mini display adapter into the mini display port on the docking station. Repeat this if you have two monitors. Now we're going to connect the Surface Dock to the Surface using the Surface Connect port. Insert the Surface Dock into the Surface Connect port and we are all set and ready to go. Now let's see how you can connect your Surface device to a TV or monitor wirelessly using the Miracast technology built into all Windows 10 and Surface devices. In order to connect to your TV wirelessly, you have to go into your Action Center. And your Action Center is in the right hand corner here. Now keep in mind that the Surface and the TV that I'm currently using have the Miracast technology allowing you to be able to stream directly to your TV. Once you're in the Action Center, you want to select Connect. And then you want to find your TV and select the TV. And then you're going to start streaming from your laptop to the TV, no problem at all. So if you want to browse the web, you can browse the web, open a Microsoft document. You can open a Microsoft document, no problem at all. 
Today I've shown you four ways you can connect your Surface to a TV or monitor, allowing you the ability to work on a larger screen. If you like the content, feel free to hit the like button, keep the comments coming in the comment section, right? And then don't forget to subscribe to K Perry Global YouTube channel and hit that bell for updates. Hit that button, 